back. I'm Joseph Hoffman. Today we're going to be learning the last two white notes on the piano. I know you've been wondering what happened to A and B. Well, today we're going to learn about them. So come on over to the piano and first let's review the letters you already know on the piano. I'm going to put my finger on a note and I'd like you to tell me its name. Here we go. What note is this? If you said D, you're correct. I'm going to place a D right here to remind us of that one. Now I'm going to put my finger on another note and tell me what it is. What note is this? If you said C, you're correct. Now let's name this one. If you said E, you're correct. Remember the notes on the piano go just like the musical alphabet. C, D, E, right in order of the alphabet. So if this is E, what note is this? The next letter after E is F. Name this note. If you said G, you're correct. Now remember, if you need a help to remember where the notes are, the two black keys I call the dog house. So D is for the dog house and the three black keys I call Grandma's house. She lives in this first bedroom. Now, remember my story from before. I'm going to finally tell you the rest of my story. Grandma felt a little bit lonely since her only friend to talk to was the frog in her front yard. And frogs, although nice are not great at conversation so grandma noticed she had an empty bedroom in her house and so she invited Aunt Annie to live with her. Do you recall that in the musical alphabet the letter after G is A? So whenever there is a grandma in her house and she gets the first bedroom the next note afterwards will always be an A for Aunt Annie. Now what I'd like you to do is find all the A's on your piano, play each note that's an A, and say A when you play it. Great, did you find all the A's? Super, now let's finish the story. Aunt Annie was a little bit jealous that Grandma had a pet in the front yard, so Aunt Annie decided to get her own pet in the backyard. Now, what letter comes after A in the musical alphabet? That's right, it's a B. So in the backyard, B for backyard, she got a pet bird. Or it could have been a boa constrictor. You decide, use your imagination. Maybe you can think of other B words for pets. Now, what I'd like you to do is find all the Bs on your piano, play the Bs, and say B when you push each one. Good job finding all the Bs. Now that we know all the letters on the piano, what I'd like you to try to do with me is start on the note called A, and we're just going to step up the whole piano and name every single note, starting with any A, until you get to the very top of the piano. Let me show you how I'll do it on my piano, then you can try on your piano at home. So find an A, and out loud, let's name the notes as we play them. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, name these with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So the highest note on my piano is the C. On your piano at home, will you find out what the highest note is? Just start on any A and keep going up and up the piano. Remember, it's just like the musical alphabet. Now let's play a game to practice all the notes you know on the piano. I'll say a letter and then you touch the note on the screen that matches the letter that I say. Here we go. Touch the note that is called A. 
If you're touching this note, you're correct. Remember, A comes after G for Grandma's house. Now touch the note that is the letter D. If you're touching this one or this one, you're correct. Now touch the note that is the letter B. If you're touching this note, you're correct. Remember, this is A, this is B. Let's try another one. Touch the note that is the letter E. If you're touching this one or this one up here, you are correct. One more. Can you touch the letter C? If you're touching this one or this one, you're correct. Let's try one more game. For this game, you're going to need a blank piece of paper and a pencil to write down a certain letter. We're going to do a mystery word. And I want you to solve the mystery by writing down one letter at a time and then figuring out what the word is. I'm going to point to a certain note. Whatever note I'm pointing to, write down that letter. We'll add one letter at a time until it makes the mystery word. You ready for the first mystery word? Here's the first letter in the mystery word. Write this letter down on your piece of paper. That's letter number one. Now, write this letter down next to the first letter. Here's letter number two. Now, here is letter number three. Write it next to the first two letters. Did you figure out what the mystery word is? If you said dad, you're correct. D-A-D -D were the three letters. Let's try another mystery word. Here's letter number one. Here's letter number two. And now here is letter number three. Did you solve the mystery word? If you said egg, you're correct. Now at home, maybe you can come up with your own mystery words. And with your mom or dad or a friend, try to test each other and see if you can solve each other's mystery words. Now that you know all the letters on the piano, be sure to have lots of fun practicing, finding, and naming all the different letters. Remember, you can download activity sheets to reinforce this learning from our website. Thanks for coming and see you next time.